Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Hannibal. We're here, Will and Hannibal, on this lover's vacation. Well, they haven't actually met each other yet, they're still kind of like, are we friends again, are we not? What's happening? Last time on, Will was having an inner dialogue with himself, with Abigail, who wasn't actually there, but he was actually just letting out his feelings a little bit, you know, just being honest with himself, something he needs to do from time to time, honestly. Uh, he said... I forgive you, Hannibal, but is it true? Is it false? We don't actually know whose side he's for right now, if he's going to be trying to catch Hannibal, if he's trying to make up with him, or all of the above. Like, Will seems to try and have his cake and eat it quite a lot, so it's maybe all of the above. <laughs> Hannibal, meanwhile, is kind of like, I want Will back in my life, but I don't trust him. I can't let him back in. It's just going to cause more drama. I don't know. I've got Gillian Anson over here. She's causing trouble. At least I'm making her feel like she's causing trouble. And it's it's a thing. It's a whole thing. There's a lot of shit going on right now in Hannibal and Will's lives. And we're just here for the journey, I guess. We're just going to keep on trucking on and see what happens next. I guess the next step of this journey is seeing if Hannibal will accept Will's forgiveness and if he believes him or not. I'm dubious. I don't know. I think Will's still playing some angles, because who isn't playing angles in this show? Everyone is playing an angle. No one is to be trusted. And of course, we still don't know what happened to Jack. We don't know what happened to Alana. Uh, Abigail's dead. We know that now. And Will's alive. We know that now. So that's nice. But yeah, maybe this episode will get an idea of what Jack and Alana is up to, or maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? Let's find out shortly. But before we jump into this, please remember to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the reaction and the review to this episode that happens afterwards. Also, consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos that I upload here. It's all good, I promise you. It actually might not all be good, but it will be mostly good. The effort will be there and it will be worth your subscription. <laughs> also, consider going to our Discord and the Twitch channel. Links in the description for all that good stuff. It's a fun time. We're trying to build the community over there. We're trying to build the community over there, make a nice space for everyone to talk about all their cool stuff. You know, it's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. Come hang out. It's fine. It's fine. Trust me. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to jump into this next episode, see what it's about. Uh, I have I really don't know what to expect. It's, this could do anything. This episode could go anywhere, do anything, and I'll probably love it. So <laughs> let's just jump in to this next one, shall we? Is it nice to see him? It was nice. <laughs> I'd say mixed emotions. And that's probably he okay. Look for me. He did try to gut him. <laughs> he said he forgave me. Forgiveness is too great. And difficult for one person. It requires two. Is this why Hannibal brought Gillian Anson with him? Like, for this moment? I need someone to talk me through my emotions when I come into contact with Will again. <laughs> I need someone to help me with this. Where will Will Graham be looking for you next? Someplace I can never go. Home. Ooh. Oh my god, the fucking transition. This is interesting. We're gonna go back to Hannibal's family home. Fuck me, Will. You look more and more dapper every single time I see you. Of course he has like a creepy old fucking gate and shit where he grew up. What horrors lie within? Is that a fucking castle? Did he grow up in a goddamn castle? What the fuck? <laughs> he is literally Dracula. My man is literally Dracula. He ha he came from a castle. Oh my god, this is so... Like, 50s gothic horror. I'm fully on board. I'm fully on board with this. This is a vibe I can get on with. Mishka Lecter? Is that the sister? Is that the sister? All right, this could be interesting. I look forward to this. Not healing to see your childhood home. But it helps you measure whether you're broken. Oh my god. The spaces in your mind devoted to your earliest years, are they different than the other rooms? Or he became who he is? It'd be interesting to know that. Or if he was always so inclined. Rooms you can't bring yourself to go. Nothing escapes from them that causes you any comfort. I assume we're talking about the sister and whatever happened with that. Hello? Who be you? What you doing here? Damn! That's a shot. 
What a shot. I expected many things on this estate, but a shotgun wielding dead eye gunsman was not among them. <laughs> God. <laughs> Transition. <laughs> They're really going ham on that today, aren't they? And he is eating an arm. Whose arm are you eating? Is it the bit you saved from uh, Budget budget Will from the first episode? <laughs> Fuck me. Just, could you stop making human meat look good? Can we stop? A cocktail created by Escoffier. Served first class guests on the titanic during their last dinner well that's foreboding <laughs> Jenny Anderson's face like uh dude you you may be dead <laughs> i pay lots of attention but not in a wide-eyed indiscriminate way oh, 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 oh. god damn that made my heart jump <laughs> Jesus, that was so, so fucking smooth. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> this is disturbing as fuck. This is awful. Oh. At least she wrapped it. She wrapped it, and that's why he did that. That's why he did that. But she wrapped it with a napkin to keep her fingerprints off it. Two men from the Capone are dead. You're drawing them to you, aren't you? All of them. Oh, does he mean like FBI people? He wants to bring them all. Is this Jack? Okay, this makes sense. I was wondering what they were referring to, but... He's got Will here. Now he's brought Jack in, apparently, by the looks of it. Well, he's alive. Good to see you. I am concerned for your well-being, but good to see you, my man. <laughs> I figured Jack would probably still be alive. Kind of like Will, I would have been more surprised if he'd died. If he hasn't already, Il Monstro will return to Florence. We have a chance to regain our reputations and enjoy the honors of our trade by capturing the monster. I'm not here for the monster. If it will. Not my house. Not my fire. Okay. I'm here for Will Graham. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I was going to say, I don't know what kind of jurisdiction he would have here, but he's here to bring Will back, I guess, or to make sure Will doesn't do anything stupid. Like, he's like, hey, don't, don't be doing this. I'm going to save your soul, I'm assuming. I hope. Who... Are you, lady? Who are you? Why are you why are you here? Does she just live here alone in this fucking terrifying looking building? Or does Hannibal have something or someone stored in this house? And she's like the guardian of it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this now? Well, maybe don't get so close. Don't get so close to the, the naked man in the jail. You have some explaining to do, lady. You're keeping him like an animal. I wouldn't do this to an animal. Definitely feels like she's some sort of guardian that Hannibal's placed here for dude in a prison who she thinks is less than an animal. What did he do? He ate her. Misha. Oh. He, he ate Hannibal's sister. Ah. This is why he can't come back here. He doesn't want to. Doesn't want to look at the dude or something. Last time I saw him, he uh, he left me with a smile. He left me alive. That's got to be something. That's got to mean something. Purple artichokes served with spring lamb's liver, lungs, and heart. <sighs> Professor Soliato doesn't know what he's missing. Love him to ignore your invitation. He sends his regrets. Hmm. <laughs> Um, he might be on the table. He might be closer than you realize. <laughs> I first prepared this dish in honor of my sister when I was very young. Lamb must be newly slaughtered. The organs cooked the same day. I always oversee this process personally. Oh my god, looks right at the camera. Are you kidding? 
How do you know it was your prisoner who killed Misha? Hannibal told me so. I believed him. Classic. Why are you looking for him after he left you with a smile? Yeah, this is what I'm saying, Will. You could have got out. You had a free pass to leave. I've never known myself as well as I know myself when I'm with him. That's concerning. Hannibal wanted to kill that man for what he did. I wouldn't let him take his life. So Hannibal left his life with me. Curious if you would kill. God damn, Will. Will knows that brain now. He's all over that Hannibal brain. Put his fingers in there like, I know what you're thinking, Hannibal. And how you do. You've made me too, too good. Why can't you go home, Hannibal? Yeah, why, what is it about your bad memories there that you don't want to face? What's going on with that? I mean, I, I get it. You don't want to face some stuff, but something about himself that he doesn't want to face. His first kill? Something he did? Did he I eat his sister? <gasps> she got it. She got it. Just I said it just before she did. I did it. I did it. Before the show revealed it to me, I got it. <laughs> bait? Is this going to be the bait? I borrowed his imagination. And I broke it. Piece it back together again. Hannibal helped him. Hannibal helped him put it back together again, which is why he is now so conflicted about what to do. Will Graham understands Hannibal. Now, who among us doesn't want understanding and acceptance? He's back. Did he put himself back in? Well, there she goes. Yeah, I highly... The moment I saw him back in that cell, I was like, yep, yeah, this this is how this goes. <laughs> this, this is not going well for you, lady. Oh, no, we're rewinding. What's happening? What the fuck? Uh, it was all a bait. The bait! This is Will's plan all along. That was an interesting way to go about showing that. <laughs> We're going to make you think she died before we went to Adbert, but then she actually killed him. You said Hannibal was curious if I would kill. So was Will. You are doing what he does. He created a story out of events that only he experienced. So did Hannibal just kill and eat his sister himself and the other guy was just like the fool guy for that? Like he invented a story for it. Oh my god, is he making a... Yep, he's... He's going full on Hannibal mode. Oh my word. That's quite the look. That is quite the look. That's beautiful, Will. Uh, you get an A star if you hand that in as your college work. Good job. If past behavior is an indicator of future behavior, there is only one way you will forgive Will Graham. By eating him. I have to eat him. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Oh boy, we're definitely we're heading towards another boom boom. <laughs> That's definitely definitely another one of those coming along the line, isn't there? <laughs> Sweet jeez. All right. Who is going to eat who first? <laughs> is, is the vibe that I'm currently running with in terms of where this is going. Like we opened this season with the flashbacks with uh, Gideon and Hannibal and Gideon saying, uh, when's this going to happen to you? When is someone gonna do this to you? Highly implying that based on where Will has gone, that there's a chance that maybe Will, or maybe even Gillian Anderson, I suppose, in a weird kind of twisted way, is going to try and eat Hannibal. But then we've also got this thread of, well, there's been two people in my life who I feel I have truly loved. One of them I ate, being my sister, and I think the only way I can truly forgive Will Graham is by eating him. So it seems like the stage has been set for a nom-off. 
there's some nomming about to happen. But anyway, let's get into what this episode had going. So yeah, the thing that really got me with this episode was really getting to see Hannibal kind of on the back foot. Just like he was contemplating some stuff that he wasn't comfortable with, which we don't really get to see from him very much. We don't get to see him dealing with a trauma that he's holding on to, at least not in a very overt way. Like it's always been more subtle than that. But this time it was like, there's shit that I can't deal with. I can't look at. I can't even begin to contemplate dealing with. And that seems to be Will's in. That's what he's going to use to bait him or to set him on off, off on the wrong foot so he can have some kind of advantage, which, you know, is smart. I think there is a level of ambiguity to what the story was doing there, though. Whatever the case is, it seems like for sure that Hannibal ate his sister. But there's a level of ambiguity as to how that came about exactly. The emotions his sister made him feel drove him to the point of killing her and eating her. And he just made a story about, about how it was this other guy and got this other woman to guard the guy like, there was a lot there there was a lot of potential going forward because we're used to the Hannibal play of telling a story to get himself out of out of the way to remove himself from any kind of blame um and him making up a story about how it's this old this other guy who did it who killed his sister ate her whatever the case may be like that's him and he would be able to manipulate someone into hey you need to you need to keep guard of this guy like you won't let me kill him fine you you look after him you keep him in the cell and see what happens and basically it's all a play to see how long it takes for her to kill him um it you know hannibal it's the hannibal play-by-play -play, that but i think the bottom line of the whole thing is just that hannibal ate someone he loved that's just how his brain works apparently and then how that's going to reflect him and will going forward like what he feels he has to do in order to uh, love Will again and to forgive him, I guess. We also have Jack back. Gillian Anderson said, you're causing this drama to lure them all back to you. Because you know whatever's happening, you know, times are ticking. You're going to get caught. You're just trying to make sure it's done on your own terms and that it can be done the way that you want it to be done. So he's trying to lure everyone back to him by, I don't know, killing all these like important people um setting the stage for himself i'm sure he's got his long game plan that he's figuring out i did not expect the way he killed that guy to be done like i was like i know he's going to kill him i could like the moment they said this served on their on their last meal or whatever this cocktail i was like well he's dead he dead that guy's out of here but the way it was just like a quick like I don't know how they even did that effect it took me by surprise like i heart literally skipped a beat <laughs> on that moment i was like wait what <laughs> what just happened it was amazing a great it was a really good moment but it, it really was like jesus hannibal <laughs> but obviously that was all you know because him and jillian anderson have their whole game being played where hannibal's trying to make her feel guilty as possible and like she's doing wrong doing so technically you killed him you know you did it and but she was smart she wrapped that thing in a napkin and yanked it out and was like hey my fingerprints aren't on here motherfucker you're like that's all that's all you and she did say that she's already constructed a way for her to get out of this situation which i'm guessing we're gonna see if that works for her i'm assuming hannibal's gonna counter plan whatever her plan is and that's gonna be a whole thing but yeah jack's back in the picture he's here for will though i think he's here to like save his soul he knows the conflict that is running through will's mind because jack broke him and he built himself back up and that the way that hannibal has a reach over will in terms of building him back up that that's dangerous so yeah i think i think he's here to make sure will doesn't do the wrong thing i think just like i assume the audience is i mean i am is what is will's motivator here does he want forgiveness does he want to catch him does he want to stop him no one's really sure and i think jack is just here to try and save his soul but by extension try and redeem him himself and the actions that he did and the things that put him in this well put will in this position that he's currently in because you know jack had his hand in breaking down will's mind so hannibal could get in there and retool it and rebuild it so there's guilt there there's a sense of wanting a redemption uh it's just gonna be a journey to see if he does it so i'm guessing the final piece of the puzzle is alana really to see if she's alive 
to see if she comes out here as well, if the whole gang is going to come out here to do this. But I did just love the look of this episode overall, like that kind of, like this kind of old school, spooky, gothic style. Like it really, really leads into that whole vampiric kind of theme that I talked about in season one. Like he lives in a damn castle on top of a hill. Like that's where he grew up and where he claimed his first victim. And, you know, it's, you know, vampiric themes all around. Will as well, by extension. Like, Will is this potential convertee, like someone he has converted into a version of himself in a way. Um, and you get that through, the, like, the transitions of their faces merging and how connected they are with one another. And there's that whole thing with um, vampire lore. Like, they convert people that they love. Like, in Dracula, it's all about him trying to find brides and stuff. And... Like, it feels like that kind of thing here, like the way that Will is dressing with his popped collar and the way he's thinking and going about manipulating people. It's that he's becoming like a version of Hannibal, but with his own mind still. And yeah, it's just that whole conversion, that conversion, that vampiric, I'm going to take over your mind with the same darkness that is in my mind, that, that whole thing. But yeah, I just love the look of the episode. Like, it really... Like, if you weren't catching the subtle hints, <laughs> like, they just laid it out here. Like, the boy grew up in a castle, and it's spooky looking. We're going to film everything on slightly candid angles. We're going to have fog everywhere. It's going to look green and old school. Like, come on now. You you pick up the hints that we're laying down. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. I think it was an, an interesting way to deal with Hannibal's past in that it's kind of shrouded by a bit of mystery still. We don't have the exact details of what happened. All we know is the important detail about his sister, what happened kind of between the two of them, uh, and how that will lead into what he's going to have to do about Will. But yeah, like I say, it was just cool to see Hannibal in a kind of different mindset. He's kind of acting in a different way because of his anxieties and his fears, and that's something we don't really get to see. And... That is the way that Will's going to attempt to trip him up, I guess, or bait him, or or whatever Will's going to try and do to lure him out. It's just a case of what he'll do once he has lured him out. I really like this season. I know a lot of people are saying that this season is their least favourite, but I feel like I'm liking this season for different reasons as to why I liked the other two seasons. And it just leads back into that thing I was saying about how this this whole se season just feels like a kind of like a spin-off to that show. It's like a continuation. It's almost like a sequel spin-off. <laughs> I think it's the best way to think of it. The whole thing just has a different feel to it because of the change in location, the the character steps that have been taken where they're in different places and their motivations are slightly different now. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying this very different take. And again, I I'm liking the slow, just bathe in it kind of burn that the that the pacing is taking with it like it's it definitely feels like we're leading up to something i feel like within the next couple of episodes we're gonna have some sort of confrontation uh between will and hannibal after all this sort of information is being passed once we have an idea of what they both are looking for and obviously on this cliffhanger of i have to eat him so yeah i'm guessing our sort of middle of the season kind of moment is going to be that kind of confrontation and that will then lead us into whatever the finale is going to be but yeah i'm just at this point now where you know we've got one more major player to see where she's going to fit into this that being alana um if she's alive alana's like a, a a weird one i'm not sure if she's alive or not like jack and will i was fairly confident would still be alive uh shaken different but alive Alana's kind of like no one's mentioned her at all at this point um but it feels like she's kind of the missing piece of this whole thing so far like she played an important role in Hannibal's like manipulations and Will's mind and Jack's relationship with Will so like I feel like that's the missing bit of the puzzle I don't know that is definitely the thing I want some confirmation on I want information and confirmation to see where that's going to go but i am really enjoying this kind of cat and mouse you know it's classic hannibal stuff you know this is this is the shit that we watch this show for is who's who's in the lead who's manipulating the events whose motivation's going to win out all of that good stuff and yeah i liked peeling back the onion layers here 
with Hannibal's past, even though it still had that element of mystery to it, where you can sort of interpret it however you're going to interpret it. The lady, I didn't catch her name, the Guardian, I'm going to call her the Guardian of the Cell, the Lecter Estate. Uh, I'm interested to see what her role is going to be, if it's going to last or if she's going to get killed off um, early on or not. She just seems like at this point a, a curiosity that Hannibal had that he then used for, for his own means of escape, basically. So now she's let loose could be an interesting interesting thing. And also an interesting parallel for, for Will. Like she said to him, like, hey, he let you go. He let you live and yet here you are. You've come back. Uh, you could have just gone on your merry way and yet he sucked you back in. What's that about? And I guess there's going to be a kind of a parallel with that in her that she has been set free. The reason she was here, the reason she got manipulated to stay here uh, is gone now. And yet she wants to help him find Hannibal as well. <laughs> like she can't just put it down. She has to, she has to join that hunt. Um, so I'm interested to see where that might go. I can see a criticism there being like, look, we're three episodes in. It feels like everything's been set up. Like all of it is set up. I should say, like it's all, like where where are we going with this? What's the payoff? Where where where's the climaxes? But I I I'm liking it. I can't lie. I like. I think the atmosphere of it and. Because I am as in invested in the small little character moments as I am, as much as the bigger storytelling that's going on, I don't mind it. I don't. I don't mind just sort of sitting and bathing in all of this for a, for a hot minute. And you know, there was lots of climax stuff that just happened. And maybe it's because I didn't have to wait a year to watch this <laughs> to watch this season. Um, so I'm okay with just you know shifting down a gear for a little bit. And then I'm sure we'll ramp back up again. So that doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, I'm still super into this. I'm loving the gothic vibes and everything that comes with that. So bring on the next one. What I say. Thank you for watching this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, please press the thumbs up button. It helps me know you liked it. Helps to get seen by more people. All that good stuff. All the good stuff for the channel. Also consider subscribing and then you won't miss any future videos. There are links in the description for Twitch. Discord if you want to hang out over there, good vibes over there, good times over there, so you should do that. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you on the next one.